welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation today we are going to learn about the introduction about turing machine i am your instructor punam patel let's start to understand this concept first of all we are going to discuss about the introduction the next is turing machine what is turing machine the next turing machine component and last is formal definition now start with the introduction what is turing machine so as we know in the previous video we have already discussed about the finite state machine and push down automata so finite state machine which accept the regular languages push down automata which accept the context free language so the language which is not accepted by the uh, finite automata which is a context free language it is accepted by the pda now if you remember in a finite automata machine so what are the main component of finite automata so, so finite automata it contain the input strings so here we can say that a b double a so in input string we are going to read a character one by one and and transform from one state to another state and we are going to read the input string only one direction from left to right at a time we are going to read the character and perform the control uh, portion which is called the from state to state we are going to move if after at the end of uh, string if we reach at the final state we can say that this string is accepted by accepted by this machine okay so this is the my finite automata now what is the push down automata so push down automata is one extra step uh, uh, extra step okay uh, one extra step contain one extra step which is called the stack stack is an infinite amount of memory which is added with the finite automata so it equal to a push down automata now uh, how this stack is used so when uh, input strings we are going to read the input string from left to right one by one character and at the same time we are going to read the input string also we are going to read the topmost symbol of the stack and by using this we are uh, changing the state from one state to another state we are making the decision so which is called the control portion okay and at the end if we reach at the final state we can say that whether the this string is accepted or rejected okay now next is what is the most uh, what is the make most powerful than this two machines like a uh, finite automaton pda more than more powerful okay so turing machine actually what it containing so turing machine is actually accepted the recursive enumerable languages which is which is not accepted by the pda and not accepted by the regular languages okay so here you can see that <coughs> input string what the tap uh, sorry turing machine uh, contains so turing machine contain the input string okay the tap now what is the tap so tap we can uh, say that tap is actually divided in the number of cell now this cell is each cell is capable to hold a one character one input symbol like this you can see over here a b a b a b double a b now a each cell hold a one character now if the cell is not holding any character it means that empty cell empty cell which is denoted by a special symbol we are using over here delta delta indicating this cell is not containing any symbol so empty space is denoted by a delta now if you see a tap head tap head it means that it read the character now what are the main capability of this tap this tap is moving from both the direction either we can move the left to right or we can move the right to left which is not capability of in a push down automata head also in a finite automata if you remember in a input string in push down automata and in finite automata we are moving just left to right and read the character we are not updating also but in here the this input tab is like one memory we can say that where we can read the character also also we can replace this character it means that we can also perform a write operation over here and this tab is moving left to right okay so always remember this tab is moving one step ahead or one step uh, one step after okay like this this uh, tab is move either left or right side one step always so here you can see that like this now what are the main operations uh, and also control portion so by using this uh, this uh, turing machine also contain the control portion which take the decision uh, we for the changing the state or uh, staying or the 
or staying at the same state. Now next is what are the operation that we are going to perform in a Turing machine. So you can see over here this is my tap which holding the input string A sorry B A A B A. Now right now my top is at A symbol is ready. Now what are the operation that this tap is performing? What are the tap is capable of performing the following operation? The first operation it read or scan the symbol. So here I am going to read symbol A tap head. Okay, now you can see over here. Now next is we can modify or update that symbol which is above the tap, tap head. So tap head pointing to the symbol we can update it. So here you can see in place of A I have write down the B. So in place of B. So tap is also writing down. Now next is now this tap is move <coughs> one step either left or one step either right. Okay, so here one step either left or we can say that one step either right like this okay so in this way the step head is performing the operation so three operation it perform first is read the symbol next is it uh, modify or update the symbol and the third one is moving either one step uh, moving the one step either left or right direction so it, this step is moving from both the directions okay now next is what are the main component that we can say that the Turing machine, uh, a Turing machine contains? So Turing machine containing the one control portion which is uh, containing the number of state and as well as is also containing the tap symbol. So by reading the symbol and performing the operation it takes the decision. Okay, so here you can see control portion. So we can say that Turing machine is equivalent to the control portion plus the tap. So here tap is almost performing a three operation read the symbol update the symbol and moving the either left or right side so basically these three operations to be performed by the turing machine read a symbol above the tap head modified or update the symbol which is above the tap head and move this tap head either left or right side one step i hit like this now here I have mentioned, if you see in this example, I have mentioned the state Q0, Q1. In this example, you can see, this is my tab, which contain the input symbol B, A, A, B, A, delta. Okay, so each, uh, this tab is containing the input symbol B, A, A, B, A. Empty symbol is denoted by delta. Okay, now my head is right now A. Now I have uh, draw the one state machine Q0 to Q1. So there are two states. Now I have mentioned the three things. The first is what input I am going to read A. Okay, how we are going to write down the, uh, we can construct the transitions. So here you can see that I am right now I am reading the input symbol A. So tap head indicating which input symbol you are going to read A. Now, in place of it, which input symbol, which symbol you you can, you are going to write down? So here you can see that in place of a, right now I'm state Q0, Q0. Input is my a. In place of it, in place of it, I'm going to write down the b. So we can say that in place of it, I'm going to write down the b. So update this symbol by b. So you can see over here. Changing the state for doing this operation Q0 to Q1. Now, appreciate, okay, like this, like this, B. Now, the third thing that we have to always mention that which direction this step head will move, either left or right, either stop, either a, S means it indicating the stop. So, here you can say that L means either it move the left side, Either it move R means indicating the right side it moves one step or S means either it stop over here like this. It does not move any further like this. So if you see here I have mentioned a right direction. So you can see over here it moves the one step right side like this one step right. Always remember it moves only one step either left or right. Whatever the direction that you mention in a transition that it performs like this. So in this way, we can write down the transitions for the Turing machine. So first we have to write down the state Q0 to Q1. You can see over here. The first thing is into, in transition, we have to mention the first is input. And 
slash after slash what symbol we are going to place on this input reading input symbol either you can keep it the same symbol or updating that symbol it means that you can modify that symbol and the next thing that we have to mention the direction in which direction the tap will go okay like this we can see this some other example like this b slash a it means that we are going to read the input symbol b in place of b we have write down the symbol a in which direction we are going to move left l okay so these are the uh, the second example you can see input is a in place of a we are uh, updating that symbol by delta okay so it means that we are going to delete that symbol and moving the right direction so like way these are the some of the examples which define the transition for the turing machines okay now what is the formal definition of turing machine so generally turing machine is defined by the five tuples q sigma tau q0 delta now as we know what is the meaning of q so here q is a finite set of states but here we are not including h a it means that hold in a accepting state and hold in a rejecting state h r okay so it is excluding state of this q now sigma is containing a input symbols always remember sigma is always a subset of tau now what is the meaning of tau tau it means that as we already see the tap symbol we can perform either a modified operation or also reading operation so in place of uh, tap input symbol we uh, we can use another symbols new symbols so this tap whatever the symbol we are using on a tap it contain the set of tau symbol uh, it contain the set of tau so tau contain the tap alphabet so whatever the alphabet we are going to use on a tap it include this set okay now next is q0 which is our initial state now initial state now delta now how we are going to perform the transition function how we are going to define so as we already discussed the delta function defined by the state q cross sigma tends to so we are going to read q cross sigma q the state which state we are right now which input symbol sorry which input symbol we are going to read and in place of it we which state we are going to move either we are going to move q either we are going to move uh, accepting state either we are going to move rejecting state okay that we, we will see in this we, that we will see later right now we are just uh, understanding this q either it moving the state what are the possibility of states so q either q it contain either moving ha either moving hr okay so ha means hold in accepting state hr means hold in uh, rejecting state okay now next is tau what symbol that uh, we have to modify this input symbol so tau and the next is directions l means left side capital r means so right side we are going to move and capital s means so we are not moving further side so in this five tuples we can define by the turing machine i hope this concept is clear to you thank you all